And welcome back. This is Mother Scuba with another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. As always, I am joined by Fallout Luke, Finny, and Nevin, our trusty party. And when we last left off, we were in Elfheim, and now we need to leave Elfheim yet again. Uh, we got the crown out of the Marsh Cave, which is awesome. But we really have no idea what to do with it. I say that as if I don't know. I know what I'm supposed to do with it, but, you know, for everybody that's new to the game, I don't know how you guys are supposed to figure it out. Luckily, there's things for the internet for this kind of thing. And that's not the way I need to go. So I know we need to go to the northwest as far as we can go. We're headed for Seattle. So hopefully we can make it there without... T but I know it's not going to be a cakewalk once we get there. There it is. I need to use a tent. Be right back. Okay, so I made it to the western keep here, and that's what it's called. And there is absolutely nothing here. That treasure over there, we or that door at least, we can't get until we get the mystic key. I assume there's treasure in there. Pretty much, yeah. See, now, now you can see the treasure. There's three chests in there, but we can't get it. Anyways, we find the king here. Apparently, we're, sp we're supposed to go here first, but I don't know anybody to play the way that this game that way, you know, come here, then go to the Marsh Cave, then come back. He'll tell you, hey, get me a crown. I lost it in the cave. Okay, dude, whatever. Here's your crown. Oh, no, fools. He's Astos. Oh, we have to split up so we can take him on. Oh, and he morphs. Yeah, I found the... With the crystal eye... He'll become the true elf king. To the underworld you will go. Apparently elves are evil. This is news to me. Okay, this guy is no pushover. First things first. We're going to want to try to silence him if we can. Then we want to use haste on our fighter and our black belt if we can. Silence. Come on, silence. Let's go. It doesn't always work. Please work. Damn it. And I'm not doing that much damage, as you can see, but he does damage on me, that's for damn sure. Okay, once again, silence. I only got four tries at this. And then I want to put haste on my black belt. Go, monk. Sorry, I call him black belt because that's what they're called in the original one. Damn it. <sighs> I want that thing to hit so bad. But luckily, he's just been using physical attacks. He does have all the level 2 spells. Plus, he has an instant death spell. But luckily, we defeated him before he got to show off any of them, and I didn't even have to silence him. That's awesome, dude. Okay, so we get 562 experience. Holy crap. And 2,000 gil for this fight here. I mean, good lord. How awesome was that? And for defeating him, we get the crystal eye. Nice. It's not a ball. It's an eye. There's a difference. Not this way. Okay, so with this crystal eye, we need to go uh, to a place that I went off screen, but I'll show you guys how to get there on screen now. Uh, but first, I need to go back to Elf Elfheim, so I'll meet you back there. Okay, so we're back in Elfheim. What we need to do is go back to our ship, and we need to head pretty much north from Elfheim. And then here we'll find, uh, here's the, the entrance, the port for Cornelia. And privateers, I don't think I showed privateers. It's been a while though. It's been a while since we were on the boat. So I'm not exactly sure, but they should go down pretty easy. We should be over leveled for privateers at this point. They're, they're decent enemies though. They're, they're stronger than the goblins. Right? And Fallout misses, of course he does. Come on, man. Nah. Eh. You hit that one. You guys continue working on that one. And hopefully if you finish him, then I won't waste a turn. Wasting turns is very important. Nope, still can't finish him. There we go. That should be enough. There we go, Finny. Nicely done. 480 gil. Well worth it. Okay, so that's Cornelia. What you want to do is go kind of... A little bit west and then north from there. And there should be a place around here somewhere. Holy crap, two sharks. Sharks, they ain't what they used to be. Whatever. Okay, so. 
I passed it. Great. Okay, so it's definitely up here. It's around here somewhere. At the very least, me getting lost does prove uh, that I can get some more gold. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We're landing at Cornelia. That is where we're landing. And I'm just going to walk to there from here. These enemies are easy as hell. I'm not even going to lie. This is, this is a cakewalk now. Oh, but we do have a new enemy that I never got to show off. This is a crazy horse. It's pretty much a unicorn. And yeah, I'm sorry if any hit it. It happens. But it's crazy. It's rabid. It needs to attack from time to time. And we have to put it out of its misery. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So basically, oh, see, here's, here's the port that I was thinking of. But I went the wrong way to find it. So if you continue north past that port, or north from Cornelia, you'll come to a destination here known as Matoya's Cave. I believe it's called Matoya. Because whenever I think of it, I think of Latoya Jackson, and uh, didn't she have like a psychic hotline? But yeah, uh, this guy will tell you, flipper flip, flipper over flip flip, um, and then on the bottom it says, start and circle. Um, I'll show you how to do it, but he phrases it wrong. Um, and yeah, he, she has a couple of potions and a little bit of gill. Nothing special, and there's nothing over here. And she's pretty much just babbling about her, her crystal eye if you go to her. But yes, now that we have the crystal eye, we can give it to her and she'll give us a, her best potion. It's the Jolt Tonic. Of course it is. Because Jolt is awesome. I've never actually had a Jolt. Anybody ever have a Jolt? The, the soda? Whatever. Be right back. I need to heal up. You know what, screw it, I'll meet you back at Elfheim! It's, you know the way. It, it's south. It's pretty much straight south. Alright, we made it back to Elfheim. I got a level up along the way too, so that's awesome. We're level 11 now, let's go talk to the Elfin Prince. I don't think he had a name, I think he was just Prince. What's up? The Jolt Tonic. This will surely awaken the Prince. Strangest drinking noise I ever heard. Your Highness. A never ending dream. Is that kind of like never ending story? Part 1, 2, or 3. The legendary warriors. We don't have to show you our crystals, do we? I feel kind of violated that we showed them once. And we get the mystic key! Already! This is a lot earlier than I remember actually getting it. But yeah, that's it. We got the mystic key. So let's go loot it, loot everything we can at once. Yes, how do I get over there? Um, yes, it's this way. Uh, uh, oh, one step too far. I'll get it, I'll get it. I know how to get it. There we are. Hug the wall. You probably don't have to hug the wall on the inner part, but I'd like to anyways. And then, what do we get? Mithril hammer, 400 gil, 330 gil, and bronze gloves. Yeah, Mystic Key is awesome. Let's go ahead and show that off a little bit. Finny probably will be using the, the, the Mithril hammer. Look at that, 1720 up by 3 and up by 5. That thing's awesome. And then, yeah, bronze gloves for Fallout. Actually, no. Screw that. Eh, no. You keep the leather gloves. You have a high enough defense already. Oh, nobody else can use it? Fine. Okay. Hold on for one sec. Alright, it does look like that's going to do it for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. When we come back next time, we'll go backtracking for everything that we could have gotten with the Mystic Key. That would have been in so, so handy. Oh, I wouldn't have to level grind up to level 10 just to finish off the freaking Marsh Cave. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this part. I hope you laughed. hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.